bubonic plague. Chinese city issues black death level three plague warning. Wow. That's, that's a lot of fear in one headline. Bubonic plague. Yeah, it's, it's not just a plague. It's the bubonic plague. That's, that's the bad one. And it's not just any city. It's a, it's a Chinese city. So you got you to be afraid of the Tricoms. Black death. It's not enough, like it's not enough to just say bubonic plague because Black Death is, is the, the nickname for the bubonic plague. They have to add in Black Death into the headline. Level three. Now that could be you know it could be level three out of ten, three out of a hundred. It could be three out of three. We're at the we're at the highest level, you know. And they use the word plague twice in the headline. So, bubonic plague is broken out in a Chinese city with authorities issuing an epidemic warning after a local farmer contracted the virus that caused the infamous Black Death. The inner Mongolian Chinese city of Bayan has been placed under a level three warning for epidemic control. This is the second lowest in a four level system and the hunting and eating of wild animals has been forbidden. So, Level three, if, if it goes from four, three, two, one, escalating. And this is hunting and eating of wild animals is forbidden. That's how they're going to control this. It's already in the people. The residents of the newer is now said to be in a stable condition. In November 2019, the same area of Inner Mongolia was the scene of an outbreak of pneumonic plague. Pneumonic plague is a deadlier variant of bubonic plague. The bubonic plague is caused by the bacteria called Yersinia pestis, usually found in small mammals and their fleas, particularly rats. Unlike the corona, the disease is caused by an infection of bacteria. If antibiotics are administered within 24 hours of infection, patients likely to survive. If antibiotics are not available, the virus can lead to a prolonged painful death. The disease results in large swellings in the groin, armpits, and neck. The bubonic plague was the disease behind the pandemic known as the Black Death during the Middle Ages, which resulted in more than 100 million deaths worldwide. And it has been estimated that it reduced the population of Europe by two-thirds. The plague becomes more deadly when it mutates into the pneumonic plague variant. The pneumonic plague is the only form of the disease that can be transmitted from person to person happening through respiratory droplets released through coughing and sneezing. One more reason you better have a mask on just to be safe in case you're really scared. There's a 30 to 60 percent uh, uh, of death, there's a chance of death, I guess, percent of death from bubonic plague if it is left untreated. Fatalities from pneumonic plague are even higher. The fatality rate of untreated pneumonic plague is near 100%. Vaccines for pneumonic plague are being developed, although in most, most countries, they are not yet commercially available. But we can solve this with antibiotics, from what I understand. And I know someone is going to come to me and say, oh, but Adam, 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 no, no, it's, it's another, it's a, well, it's a bacteria, it's not a virus, but it's another pathogen, it's another you know, it's, it's another disease out there in the global human petri dish. The bubonic plague is back. We have to be afraid. No, no, no. And I'm not here to weigh in as an expert epidemiologist or even someone familiar with the history and biomechanics of the bubonic plague. But I am here to tell you that fear is never the answer and we should always be suspicious of people who want to use fear to manipulate us.